It's been a decade since Macon and Bibb County tied the knot, forming a consolidated government and becoming the fourth largest city in Georgia. Voters approved the plan in 2012 and the General Assembly also signed off. Anthony Montalto checked in with current and former county and city leaders to see how they think it's working. Making Bibb County turns 10 years old this week, and while it wasn't official until January 2014, a lot had to happen before that. I spoke to several current and former county officials who all told me there was a lot of planning involved. I think a lot of the sales pitch was around how much savings could be realized. People in the city paid both county and city taxes. Tax savings and economic development, two major points for the merger. Efficiency. We were our own worst, worst enemy also in the mix. We reduced the number of elected officials from 21 to 10. And former Mayor Robert Rickert says it's all gone to plan. Former Bibb Commission Chair Sam Hart feels most of the goals helped the county in the long run, but he fears cutting down the number of officials also cut down access. Reduce, uh, I guess, representation as the equity of the record uh, of the uh, representation. Current Commissioner Virgil Watkins feels the same. He once served on the 15 member Macon City Council and was against consolidation from the start. He's living in deep rural Lazella and living in Pleasant Hill. The wants, needs and desires of those communities are just different. But Sheriff David Davis says uniting the Macon Police Department and Bibb Sheriff's Office helps them protect the entire county more efficiently. Criminals, they may do something in what used to be the county today, but then tomorrow they're going into the city doing it. And so we're able to, uh, you know, we're able to track them and, and, uh, and, and make those cases no matter where they, where they may go. Each of these officials looking forward to how the next 10 years of consolidation develop. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Virgil Watkins says another drawback to consolidation is so-called early outs. He says the newly formed government offered some employees early retirement to cut costs. Response times are worse. Uh, by and large, we all feel less safe. He says that goes for many government services like responding to see, click, fix requests. Sheriff David Davis acknowledges those could have been, could have contributed to slower deputy response times over the last decade. He says the sheriff's office lost a combined 800 years of experience to those early outs. You can say about 100 people left within a year or a year and a half after consolidation uh, that uh, that really significantly impacted and that were the people who had been at both agencies. Sheriff Davis says now they are starting to finally turn the corner with the help of more competitive wages and part-time deputies. But many of you told us there are still concerns about staffing. Michael says crime is the same or worse since the consolidation. Carolyn says law enforcement is spread too thin after becoming one. Kevin says worst decision ever in history. We lost a lot of good men that day because of it. To share your thoughts about the merger, comment on this post on our Facebook page.